Uh, hey guys, I thought I'd check out this new phone kind of graphic and it looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Um, wow, how unshaven do I look? Never mind, um, I've been having a look on the line today and I thought there was a fifth battery shunt mod for the Geos out there but it doesn't look like it. And um, you can see my Geo here in front of me and it looks a bit beat, broken and scarred but it's pretty decent, it does its job. Uh, I replaced the mirrors with some lights up there and I changed, or I added um, a screen at the front to run a video feed from the camera at the back. But when I when I got this Geo it had four 12 volt batteries in the footwell down there and um, it was pretty sluggish to be honest and um, pretty heavy so when I was trying to go up a hill it, it wouldn't really kind of move. Um, so what I did is I looked around on the net and I put a fifth battery underneath the seat and I ran two cables, one from the footwell up to, um, yeah, two cables both up in through the seat to the battery, uh, the fifth battery underneath the seat um, and what I was doing is to recharge the fifth battery underneath the sea, I was using an individual 12 volt charger to charge it and the other four batteries in the footwell I was using the original 48 volt charger to charge those because as I took the fifth battery off to charge it independently with a 12 volt charger I then just made a loop connection as in two wires connecting each other so the 48 volt 48 volt circuit could charge with a 48 volt charger. Does that make sense? Probably not. So basically in the footwell when you get your four batteries with your original bike if you look and take the batteries out you'll find a positive and negative. If you at the, at the end of your four batteries of the array the negative of the last battery of, of the 48 volts if you send that wire leading up to the fifth battery's positive terminal underneath the seat and then out of the fifth battery's negative terminal send that back down into the footwell you'll then get 60 volts of charge which you can then send into your controller and the wiring can seem a little confusing but it's really honestly is just the positive and negative and you're stretching the negative of the last battery up under your seat to the fifth battery's positive where out of the negative of that fifth battery you're then sending it down into the footwell and which then leads off to the charger um, excuse me, to the controller, the electric bike's e-controller. Um, so I could point, I, I could, I could probably show you some more of the wiring. But realistically, if you have a look um, at the wiring, as long as you follow the idea that you're running a wire from the negative of the last battery in the 48 volts series up underneath the seat to the positive of the fifth battery and then out of the fifth battery you're running it back down into the footwell so it can hook up to the controller of the e-bike you should be pretty fine there um, the only thing you need for the fifth battery mod literally is two pieces, uh, two strips of cable which I used earth cable for because it's a really good conductor um, of high amps but you don't need that much and um, you need a, a 12 volt new battery preferably um, similar in amp powers and everything to your uh, old batteries so if you've had four 12 volts 22 amp hour batteries just buy a fifth 12 volt 22 amp hour battery um, and if you run them all back down there you'll find that the controller will take the extra voltage and the amps give you an extra boost but I, I think it's really more the amps than the volts that help out but it's pretty simple so have a go you only need a, a 12 volt battery and an independent 12 volt charger to charge that battery but it's worth noting um, if you are using five batteries then now and again just swap the batteries in their positioning on the circuit because otherwise you'll find that the odd battery say the fifth battery will um, 
reducing amp it'll reduce its capacity faster than the other four or one if you find that one of the batteries um, in the footwell is more run down than the others it's well worth taking all of the five batteries out charging them with the 12 volt battery charger independently and then uh, putting them back in into your bike and kind of balances out your sir balances out the batteries in the circuit so um, they run a bit longer take more uh, take the appropriate capacity some batteries aren't overcharged while some are under they should just be nice and balanced um, but I've left the SLAs and I'm just waiting for the lithium ions which will be here in a week and because I've changed a lot of the wiring over to um, to match the new five batteries from China with their five independent chargers if I show you the wiring in the bike it'll get a little confusing to what the fifth battery mod actually requires so fifth battery mod summed up um, run a cable from the negative terminal of the fourth battery in the footwell in through the seat through a drill hole in the seat up to a fifth battery and then the negative of that fifth battery then run back down into the footwell connect them both up to the positive and negative which is the only wires leading off going into your controller and you've done it uh, and uh, if you've put in a fifth battery under the seat it's handy just to put a towel around the battery on its left side right side and underneath because it stops it jingling about when you go over bumps and things so um, I know I'm not the best presented but I uh, hope I've helped out if you're considering the fifth battery mod and I figured it was easier to talk um, talk to you guys direct than type it all because um, I'm waiting for my mechanical keyboard and this one's pretty dire at the moment. So cheers and stuff and I uh, hope, hope it helped. See you later.